Okay, we're in a code sandbox and we're going to import React from React. And then to get something simple on the screen, we'll call this cat meme. And this is going to be a function component. It will just return the first thing we want on the screen. So let's make a header. We'll call this cat meme. And then if we export default uh, cat meme and save, then we see that on the screen now. So we have a basic React component set up now. The first thing we're going to want to do is actually load a cat picture. And so we're going to do this not in an image tag, but we're going to want to put it in state. So we're going to have a use state here. And we want to do this on load. So we're going to have a use effect. So let's start by getting a variable, a state variable for this image. So we're going to do image and set image equals use state. And that will default to null. And then on load, so we're going to have a use effect. And remember to always include an empty dependency array here if you wanted to do it on load only once. And we can say that our cat image will be a new image. And this is a neat trick if you want to load an image into memory without an image tag. You can say new image. And then we're going to set the image source to this cat does not exist.com. And that returns an image directly. So we, this is normally going to be like cat.png, but this website, all it does is return cat images. And these cat images are created by AI, so they actually don't exist, which is really neat. And we might see that as we load some. And then we'll say, once that loads, so on load, we are going to call our set image hook here and just set the cat image into that hook. Okay, so now we have that cat image in memory. And we actually want to display it on a canvas. And the reason why will be clear in a minute. But the first thing we need then is canvas. So let's come down here and make a canvas. Uh, we'll just put this in a div tag for now. And we'll have a canvas. We need to set the width and the height of our canvas. And so we're going to set the width to, let's say, 400. These cat images are going to be 256 by 256. And so 400 gives us some extra space. And our height will be, let's set it to 256 plus uh, 80. So that gives us 40 pixels on the top and bottom for text. And now we need to get a reference to this so we can actually draw into it. So we're going to import use ref from React. And then we can use that hook here. So we'll say that our canvas here, we're going to make a new variable called canvas, is going to be use ref of null. So it starts as null. And then we can use this canvas variable down here. And we can say the ref of this canvas is going to equal this. So once this canvas loads, it's going to set this canvas to a reference to this. And then we can get the actual DOM element by saying canvas.current. So let's see how that works. We'll have another use effect because we want to say whenever the uh, image changes, so our state image or our canvas, so our reference to our canvas changes, uh, then we want to check. So if we have both our image and our canvas, then we're going to be able to actually get the uh, DOM element from canvas.current, and we can get the context from that also. So this is going to be standard HTML uh, canvas drawing. So we're going to get the current. That gives us, gives us the DOM element. And then we can say uh, get context and get the 2D context from the canvas. And then let's just draw the picture that we have on there. So first we will uh, draw a black uh, rectangle on the back. So set our fill style to black. And then we can uh, fill a rectangle starting at 0, 0x zero and 0y. Zero and we'll go a full width of 400 and our full height of 256 plus 80. And then we can draw an image. So we're going to draw an image and we will make that our image. And we have to specify the xy for this. So this is going to be uh, 400, which is our width, minus the width of our image. And then we're going to divide that by 2 to center it. And then we're just going to put it 40 pixels down. OK, let's save this and see what we have. So here we have a cat meme, and then the canvas pops into place. And every time we make a change and save it, this will come in with a new cat. And these cats are all fake. You can see a little artifacting here. This is from the AI actually drawing it. But I think it's so cool that we have cats here that are fake. That one looks kind of kind of creepy. Let's get another one. There we go. Some, some nice cats now. 
All right, let's actually uh, worry about writing text. So let's say we have a line on the top and a line on the bottom. So we're going to say our top text and uh, set top text equals use state of blank. And we're going to, to do the same for bottom text. So bottom text and set bottom text. And then we can use a typical controlled component model down here. So uh, let's make a new div. And then we're going to have an input of type equals text. And then we want to say that the value of this one is going to be the top text. And on change, we're going to get the event. And we're going to say set top text to the e.target.value. And then we can do the same thing. Let's put a line break in between. And we can do the same thing for the bottom text. So we have bottom text and set bottom text. Okay. Now, whenever those change, uh, we want to also redraw. So we'll have our top text in the dependency array and the bottom text also. And now we can draw some text. So we can set the font. And we're going to use, of course, 20 pixel comic sans. And then we can set the color. So the fill style, we're going to set to white. And we want to align the text in the center. And then we can actually fill the text. So we're going to fill text, our top text, at, uh, we want it halfway on the x-axis. So 400 over 2 and 25 pixels down. These are kind of magic numbers, but uh, I know they work. So you can play around with those later. And we want our bottom text also at uh, 400 over 2 on the x. But now we're going to have 256, which is the height of our image, plus 40, which is the height of the black bar on top, plus 25 to get it down a little bit. And now let's save this. And we have a new cat here, plus we have two input boxes here. And we can say, hello, I'm a fake cat. Great. And so every time we type in here, we actually redraw the entire canvas. Uh, this doesn't work on really big canvases, but it works just fine on the small canvas. Um, and the bonus here, now that we have this canvas, we can right click and save image as, and it will download a copy of it, which is includes the text and the image. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed this cat image uh, meme generator. And you can check the description for this code sandbox so you can open it up and play around with it directly. Thanks.